Given a special out-of-competition screening at Cannes, Bridges of Sarajevo is a collective documentary of 13 shorts by European directors. Impressions of the city from 1914 to the present day. Former Le Monde journalist Jean-Michel Freudon is the project's artistic director. À chacun d'eux, euh, on a donné une seule véritable contrainte. The only limits we imposed on anyone were keep your contributions to around six to eight minutes, and everyone gets the same budget. Qui était le même pour chacun d'entre eux. À l'intérieur de quoi ils avaient total liberté. Beyond that, they had complete freedom to pitch any idea about Sarajevo in the 20th century. Avec la ville de Sarajevo au au XXe siècle, disons, enfin, entre 1914 et 2014. Romania's Christy Puyu and Ukraine's Sergei Loznitsa, along with Swiss giant Jean-Luc Godard's contributions, caught Euronews's eye in particular. Along with one of the emerging talents, the film was happy to include, alongside the established names, Bosnia's Aida Bergic. Sarajevo is a city she knows intimately. Well, Sarajevo is always like kind of paradigm. I think that Sarajevo is kind of mirror of Europe, where you, Europe is reflecting all the best and the worst things uh, in, in, in Sarajevo, in a way. So it's like a cross uh, over of different cultures, different religions, and it's very specific and very, very unique mentality because we are all built from, uh, we have some East, some West, some uh, of communism heritage, you know, so we are very complex in that sense and I think that's why we are kind of heart of Europe. 100 years of any city's life would be material enough, yet several directors have perhaps unsurprisingly chosen to look at the war-torn 1990s and the siege of the city. The war made a huge impression on me. I was at film school at the time and there was war on Switzerland's doorstep, a war near our homes. There I was making all these films with pictures and photos coming from there, those unforgettable photos of snipers. We all carry images of that war in our heads. Serbia's Vladimir Perisic has mashed up the century's trigger event, the killing of Franz Ferdinand, with today's anarchist youths nostalgic for the former Yugoslavia. I think there's a return of this idea of a Yugoslavia in many ways close to Bolivarism in South America. The passage from socialism to capitalism in the Balkans is a very violent experience. In Bosnia alone, unemployment is 28%. Adding his voice to the film's polyphonic platform is renowned Belgian cartoonist Francois Schwieten, whose animations bridge each short. The film starts rolling out in Europe on June the 28th, the 100th anniversary of the event called The Shot That Started World War One.